Testing on, we on, we on. What up, gang? Matt here, country song teacher. Hope you're doing well. Before I start, let me first off say a big old huge thank you for the crazy support the video I did Friday. I was talking about my 40 chord songbook. So many of you all purchased that. Um, if you want it, it's right here. Um, it's $10 on my website, countrysongteacher.com. So many of y'all, hundreds and hundreds bought that. And it's a it's just a huge inspiration to me. So thank you so much for that, guys. It, 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 that's how I support myself right now with this guitar channel. So God bless you, everyone that purchased that. I hope you jam at a lot of campfires. I'm going to teach a song today and talk about a great beginner. First song, 10 Man. This is in the 40, 40 Chord Songbook. As far as many videos I do, I always, always tell myself, make sure you return to the basics because I'm the guy, kind of guy I want to get a guy up to home plate and make him hit a single. There are way better guitar teachers getting fancy lead guitar, but if you've never touched a guitar, I want to get you playing this awesome instrument because it's been such a blessing to me and I've had so much fun playing. I want to get you to play in the same way. So this, chord, this song's going to use four chords, G, C, E minor, and D. Some people say, Matt, you need to slow down some. So let me break this down. Four chords, G, C, E minor, D. Those four chords are going to make up this whole song. If you've never played a guitar before, this is a great song to learn on. So for the verses, you're going to use three chords, G, C, and D. Now notice how I play these. Lock in the two bottom strings. Use your ring finger and pinky finger. The two bottom strings of your third fret. And then play a fifth, fifth string in the second fret top string of the third fret. That's your G chord. So you'll start out, Hey there, Mr. Tin Man. You don't know how lucky you are. You shouldn't spend your whole life wishing. Now on that word wishing, I went down to a C add nine. Again, I call it a C. It's exact same as your G. You're keeping the bottom two locked, except you slide your top two fingers down a string each. So you're at the fourth and fifth. So instead of fifth and six, you're down to the fourth and fifth. And you show them the bottom five. Shouldn't spend your whole life wish for something bound to fall apart. That right there's your final chord for the verses, the D chord. Again, keep the bottom two locked and press that third string. Now notice here I'm doing all down strums. If you're a beginner, let me go ahead and tell you, your fingers are going to hurt, A. But strumming, understanding rhythm and timing and strumming is going to be your most difficult thing. It, it took me forever, guys, so hang in there. If you feel like you have no rhythm, you're awful at timing, please hang in there. You'll get it. The muscle memory, the brain will start telling the hand what to do, and you'll actually be able to do it. So stay focused. Hang in there. Those three chords. So on a G, you're strumming all six. Top two fingers, both down a string, the bottom five. Then your first finger to the third string, bottom four. So, fall apart, stay on that D. Every time you're feeling GMT, you better think you're a lucky star. Cause if you ever felt one C breaking, them deep you never want a heart so that's your verses three chords and by the way let me throw in a quick plug if you haven't heard my buddy Brooke Hadela uh, you know she helps out blonde headed girl uh, amazing talent helps out my channel a lot if you haven't heard Brooke Hadela sing this I'll put a link up here she she crushes this song uh, so be sure to check that out man I think that I think this is top two or three covers she does so uh, and she has new music coming out the 21st. Y'all know I'm a family friend of hers. I'm helping promote her new music coming out the 21st. So be sure to check that if you haven't seen it already. So the chorus, you're going to add one more final chord to E minor. I'm going to keep those bottom two locked. There's two ways to play it. I press right in between the fifth and fourth string. So I use one finger in between the fifth and fourth string and strum all six. Now, or you can take the first and second string and play the middle two. So again, you can press both strings with one finger, like I do, and strum all six. If you have smaller fingers, use your first and second finger, put them both in the second fret on the fifth and fourth string, all six. So it goes. So you see 
see there, I did four E minors, four C's, four G's. So if you, if you want to hear more, type in country song teacher, first song. I've done a few lessons like this where I say this is a great first song. Because I love, I love, like I said, I love get, pushing people out of the crib, out of the nest, so to speak, I guess is the better analogy. Pushing people out of the nest and making them fly with a few songs. Because once you get that momentum, and you start getting your first song, then your second, then your third, then your eighth, then your twelfth, it'll start flowing, guys, and it'll start clicking. And this instrument, you'll be mastering it for you for long. So I'm going to play through again the verse and the chorus. Like I said, you can play along with me. But um, if you get more advanced, you can do down ups. I'm going to do just down strums. This is a kind of a simple song anyway. You kind of really work on your timing. Hey there, Mr. T. You don't know how lucky you are. You shouldn't spend your whole life wish. Something bound to fall apart. Every time you're feeling empty. Better think you're a lucky stars Cause if you ever feel one break You never want a heart Sometimes you'll hear me do that too, kind of one C, the back of the G, kind of like an intro chord. Like that, I think it sounds cool. It's that it kind of breaks it up when you do it. So on, a, on another example of that, on the core, on the verses, I'll throw in a C, because there it is. Hey there, Mr. T. fancier with your playing, just adding maybe an intro chord or the hammer on you saw me doing. You can type in Matt McCoy hammer on to see lessons on that, but a fun song to play. Like I said, I have other songs. If you're just starting out, please subscribe, guys. Hang with me. Um, I've got other songs. Y'all know I'm always like, I'm going to be somebody. Okay, bad joke. All right, guys, check out my website, countrysongteacher.com. Get the song book. Uh, the 10 man's on there, 40 songs, four chords. Uh, like I said, thank you so much, all y'all, the bottle already. Uh, God bless you so much. I still have my stuck at home deal, uh, $15 for two DVDs and the song book. So that's way cheaper than one lesson. You get 20 lessons or whatever and a song book. So check that out. Countrysongteacher.com, all one word. Thank you guys and gals so much for the support. If you haven't, please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. And comment what video you're going to teach next, and I'll get on it. You guys have a great day. God bless you.